So now everyone knows anyway. No, no more cars or toilets. Greetings, fellow aficionados of Allure. Today, we embark on an immersive odyssey through the titillating universe of top 10 steamy and seductive Netflix series of all time. I'm your host, Sarah Collins, and prepare yourselves for an in-depth exploration of narratives that seamlessly blend passion with storytelling. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for your regular dose of sensuality, and share your favorite steamy series in the comments below. This is not just a countdown. It's a decadent feast for the senses. Let the seduction unfold. It's hard to have a fresh start when the past is on your mind. At the starting line of our sultry journey is the psychological thriller year. Brace yourselves for an intricate dance of desire and obsession as Oyu invites you into the labyrinthine psyche of its characters. Promise to tell the truth. Scout's honor. Do you think I'm unremarkable? Unremarkable people don't worry about being unremarkable. Each episode is a carefully crafted blend of suspense, romance, and a touch of the macabre, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of contemporary storytelling. Did you forget something? I did. Sweeping in at number nine is the enchanting Emily in Paris. Beyond the postcard, perfect scenes lies a world of clandestine affairs and romantic escapades. Hi, can you come talk to my plumber? It's an emergency. Good morning, Gabriel. How are you today? Good morning, Gabriel. How are you today? Asleep. Thank you for asking. I was having a very nice dream and this American girl banged on my door and woke me up. Or maybe I'm still dreaming. Uh, you're not still dreaming, you're wide awake. Don't let him leave until he fixes my shower. Emily in Paris isn't just a visual treat. It's a narrative tapestry woven with threads of desire, beckoning you into a realm where passion and Parisian charm collide. Securing the eighth spot is the Regency era spectacle, Bridgerton. To marry one's cousin, this regal. Just look at the royal family. This opulent period, drama transcends the conventions of its genre, offering a tantalizing peek into a world where societal norms and clandestine liaisons convert. Bridgerton is not just a feast for the eyes. It's a sensory immersion into a realm where the allure of forbidden love reigns supreme. Um, hello? Are you wearing your homeless clothes again? Because these are my clothes. People don't call it quits with me. I'd like to get to know you better, if you'd let me. Yeah, I guess so. Taking the seventh position is the refreshingly bold in sex education. Thanks for, because I know why are you angry with me? You like me. Yeah, I like you a lot. But you don't love me. I just have to say that in my own time. But that's not to say I won't. Never said that to anyone, Otis. I'm sorry. But we, we haven't been dating for that long. And I don't know if you actually... Feel good? Beyond its humorous take on the awkwardness of adolescence, the series delves into the intricacies of intimate relationships. With a cast of characters navigating the labyrinth of love, sex education is an emotional roller coaster, providing a nuanced exploration of the human heart and its desires. Dear white people, 
Having a black vibrator does not count as an interracial relationship. I just want to say that I find your show offensive. When are you going to wake up to your white privilege, man? I'm black. Sorry, brother. Our sixth pick, Dear White People, transcends the boundaries of mere social commentary. I have to unpack my best friend having a secret bay. Secret or white? Both. This intellectual powerhouse interweaves provocative narratives with the complexities of relationships, creating a tapestry that is both intellectually stimulating and sensually charged. Dear White Peoples invites you to a world where passion and intellect coalesce in a dance of intrigue. Don't reach out to that girl. Alma, do not do it. Venturing into the fifth position is the Mexican thriller Dark Desire. Brace yourselves for a gripping narrative that seamlessly intertwines mystery and desire. This series is a slow burn that evolves into a rentless inferno of passion and suspense, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. My ambition for the summer is to create like I've never created. Yes! To be the best partner to my partner that I can be. <laughs> To get that money, <laughs> darling. The summer is only three months long. It's a longer summer. <laughs> Breaking into the top four is She's Gotta Have It, a Spike Lee masterpiece that takes a fearless and unapologetic look at love. Sex addict, what does that make you? I'm Greer Childs. I'm a grown ass man. And I'm a grown ass woman. I can't enjoy sex. If I'm such an addict, why don't you leave me the hell alone? Well, now you're getting defensive. No, 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 I'm not getting defensive. If I'm an addict, then I should quit cold turkey, right? You, a numero uno, on my list. It's a journey of self-discovery, liberation, and, of course, provocative moments that challenge societal norms. She's got to have. It is a celebration of passion in all its diverse forms. <laughs> What are you doing? I told you to leave. I did leave. Obviously not. I did, but you looked for me at Lisbon. Fuck. Securing the bronze is the Spanish teen thriller, Elite. It's muy raro, no? Estar aquí contigo. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? ¿Te parece raro? Sí. Y ahora? También. Y ahora? Un poco menos. ¿Y ahora qué? Recuerdo que al llegar me miraste. Fue solo una más de tanto. Beyond its murder mysteries, Elite is a heady cocktail of forbidden romances and suspense that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's a narrative roller coaster that explores the intoxicating allure of the forbidden, leaving a lasting impression on the landscape of modern storytelling. You guys have, you know, the big love. Oh, it is very nice. Really nice. What's nice? Being in love and stuff? Yes, that stuff is cool. Yeah. Just shy of the top spot is the British gem, lovesick. How's it going with your guy? It's going badly. Who's this girl that Angus says you're seeing? I really like her. She's cute. Yeah, not her. She's my best friend. This is complicated. It's also really simple. Say something. I want you to be happy for the rest of your life. This series takes a humorous and heartfelt approach to the intricacies of love. With its witty dialogue, authentic portrayals of relationships, and an unfiltered exploration of desire, Love Six claims its well-deserved second place on our steamy countdown. Before we unveil our reigning champion, let's tip our hats to some honorable mentions. Money heists for its thrilling heist entwined with intense relationships. <laughs> Ramiro! Aguanta un poco, voy a sacarme. 
¿Qué? También eres ser bañil. Tengo mis sorpresas. ¡A cubierto! Sensate for its mind-bending narrative and diverse love stories. I'm looking for a better future. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Taking the throne as the pinnacle of seduction is a sex life. It's so fucking hot watching someone else want you. Knowing you're all mine. This series is not just a roller coaster. It's a relentless exploration of desire that traverses the spectrum of human intimacy. Sex life is a symphony of passion that pushes the boundaries of storytelling in the most enticing ways possible. And there you have it, our meticulously detailed journey through the top 10 steamy and seductive Netflix series of all time. If your appetite for passion and drama is still unsatisfied, fear not. There's always more to explore. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for your regular dose of sensuality, and share your favourite steamy series in the comments below. Until next time, stay tantalised, Prue Fesser's family. Bye.